Hi Explorers, hope you are doing well. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe for more informational content relating to food and places with a little humor. In order to continue with the Y series, in today's video, we are talking about Why is it insanely cheap to retire in the Philippines? If you haven't watched the last two videos in the Y series about Maldives and the Great Lakes, they will be referenced in the right hand corner accordingly. Now, let's begin. Due to the rising cost of living and inflation in 2023, most retirees might not have enough buying power in the states, even in the world in general. For that reason, looking elsewhere with a lower cost of living is feasible for some retirees, and it is not difficult to turn to the Philippines with the white sandy beaches. The Philippines uses the Philippines pesos. One U.S. dollars equals 56 to 57 Philippines pesos. Cost of living in the Philippines on average is about 54.1% lower than the United States. Rent is about 82.4% lower. Restaurant meal prices are 80% lower. A single person's estimated monthly cost with rent is about $1,000 to $1,500. The Philippines has a special program to attract expat retirees by offering an easy path to permanent residency. Expat retirees can qualify for a special resident retirees visa or SRRV if 1. You are at least 50 years old and receive a pension worth at least $800 US per month for an individual or $1,000 per month for a couple. This does include social security benefits. In addition, you will need to deposit $10,000 US in the Philippines bank. 2. Or if you are 50 years old and don't have pension or social security benefits, you can still qualify if you deposit $20,000 US in the Philippines bank. However, there is a restriction in home ownership in the country for foreigners. Foreigners are allowed to purchase townhouses and condominiums only, not land, as land is reserved for the citizens. You can rent in the neighborhoods and negotiate the lease, or you can buy a townhouse with $10,000 deposited in the bank. On top of SRRV, if you are a head of household, you are required to pay a fee of $1,400 one-time application and additional $300 for each additional member. There's also a $360 fee to renew the visa every year. This includes your spouse and one child. One reason the Philippines makes it easy for expat retirees is because English is widely spoken even though the official language is Filipino. Secondly, the country is very taxes friendly. Typically, tax could range from 20 to 35% on income made in the Philippines, not income from outside of the country, so your social security and or pension is not taxed. In a sense, you can live very comfortably around $1,000 to $2,000 a month, including enjoying what the Philippines has to offer and housing. International Living recommends having at least $200,000 in savings to retire in the country. It is recommended to start with the SRRV process first before you buy or rent in the Philippines. Also, make sure to do a lot of research. You might find it is more expensive at first, but once you get used to the local and how to save more, it will reduce your cost of living overall. Even though the Philippines is wallet friendly, keep in mind that healthcare is very important when it comes to retirement, so choosing a location to retire is very crucial. Most expats choose to retire in popular destinations such as Manila, Cebu City, El Nido, Davao, or Palawan. But for today's video, we are going to go over Cebu City, Puerto Princesa, and Boracay as we think those destinations offer the most for retirement in terms of sceneries and budgeting. Cebu City offers a world-class beach destination for beach lovers. It is also the oldest city in the Philippines and more chillax than the capital Manila. The white sandy beaches are the biggest attractions, along with mountains, waterfalls, and lakes. The city also carries a historic Spanish heritage. Monthly cost for a single person in Cebu without rent is about 623 US dollars. It is overall 60.6% less expensive than New York, 
rent is about 90% less than New York, and there is a big network of public and private hospitals for retirees to choose the city for retirement. Puerto Princesa, located in Palawan, the city showcases natural wonders and landscapes. It is a big coastal city to live in and costs much less money than Cebu, with monthly single-person costs without rent is $530. Rent alone only costs $250 to $350 per month. Puerto Princesa also opens easy access to nature and outdoor recreational activities. It is home to a world-famous underground river and world heritage site. The city is less urbanized but very busy at night with tourists. Boracay Island is a paradise for retirees as it is a top destination in the Philippines. However, it is perfect for a slow pace and stress-free environment. Retirees come here for soul healing and soothing lifestyles. Rent in Boracay is around $600 to $700 and monthly single-person cost without rent is $600. Retirees can live comfortably around $1,300 to $1,500 a month. It is one of the most expensive places to retire in the Philippines and getting more and more expensive as it is getting more popular. That is it for today's video. If you find the video helpful, like and subscribe to the channel for more quality content. What do you think about retiring in the Philippines? Let us know in the comment. As always, go out and explore.